Good morning. We uh, pushed out of Muskrat Creek shelter this morning and we're out to Carter Gap shelter, which is about 12 and a half miles away. If you can't tell by the nose running, uh, a little bit of frost on the ground this morning at the higher elevation. So uh, Muskrat Creek shelter was about 4,000 feet elevation. We got one climb up into 5,000 foot elevation, so we're expecting it to be a little bit more wintry up there. I got toothpaste on my face. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm gonna keep grinding. We got a uh, uh, extra hour, I guess, spring forward or lost an hour or something. I never can keep track, but anyway, thanks for joining along. Let's see what we get into today. So I'm standing up here on uh, Standing Indian Shelter area. Uh, nice climbs behind us. A little sunshine in the sky, which is good today. Um, so I'm about four and a half in. I think I got seven and a half left to get to Carter Gap Shelter this evening. So I just stopped here to drink some water, rearrange my backpack a little bit, and rearrange some clothes. So. I'm getting ready to hit back on trail and uh, get some more miles in. The wind is just hustling up here on top of this mountain. Probably 20 plus mile an hour or so. So keeping moving and staying warm is key. So we'll uh, catch you on down the trail. Standing Indian Mountain, the views from the top across North Carolina. Fifty five hundred feet of elevation. Whew. Heck of a climb. What a reward. All right, so just coming down off of Standing Indian Mountain, which like I said up there on top is, is close to 5,500 feet of elevation. So I'll definitely have my work cut out for me this morning, but there was a nice switchback going up the back side of it. So that was very much appreciated. Thank you, North Carolina. But uh, we got about four miles left into uh, Carter Gap Shelter tonight. So I'm going to keep on walking and uh, we'll go from there.
beautiful section of trail right here has all this Galax G-A-L-A-X species. Super cool. All the way through here. And that's something. Alrighty, so we made it into uh, Carter Gap Shelter. Oh, it's probably around 3.30 or so today. Uh, maybe closer to four, I guess it doesn't really matter. But uh, anyway, that was a 12 and a half mile day and it was a beautiful day for hiking as you can see behind me. We had rain for the last two days and it finally moved out. So we've got a lot of views. Uh, climbed a massive mountain uh, this morning. And uh, you see my stuff over here drying on a little clothesline that I hung. Got my tent right there. And then I got my quilt right there hanging in the sun and the wind. Um, it was cold last night. It got down to 27, I think. And we had some winds, pretty strong winds. So needless to say, there was quite a bit of condensation inside my tent. As well as on the outside because it had rained earlier in the evening. So I had a lot of ice buildup and such on my tent and condensation uh, on my quilt from my breathing, I guess. But uh, um, the wind's blowing up here right now. Uh, I looked at the, there's a special weather channel for the Appalachian Trail. You can literally drill into the exact shelter that you're at and it will give you a lot more accurate information, weather information than you can get from, you know, your basic weather channel app or whatever. So they're calling for a low of 25 tonight with 25 to 30 mile an hour winds with gusts up to 40. So what I've done, I think is kind of smart is I've positioned myself on the back side of the shelter. See the shelter right here. This is the back side of it. Completely 180 degrees on the other side is the, is the opening or the front. So there is virtually no wind back here at all. So I'm hoping that's a good move. It's not the best spot uh, to throw a tent, but I think I can make it work if there's any way I can stay out of that 30 to 40 mile an hour wind. So I'm hoping this is one of those guys smart and uh, kind of knows a little bit about what he's doing. So anyway, we'll see if that pays off. But uh, yeah, just kind of hanging out for now, waiting for the rest of our family to get here. Three of us are here, two more are still coming. And uh, overall, it was a good day. I feel good about it. And uh, we're somewhere in the uh, in North Carolina. So I'll close this video out for now. Probably we won't get into too much tonight. If we do, I'll pop the phone back out and uh, shoot a little more footage. But uh, until then, I appreciate you following along. It's uh, been quite the adventure so far, and I appreciate all the love and support. Talk to you guys soon. All right, so the sun's setting on the mountains behind me, and uh, everybody's tucking in for bed. We call it hike or midnight. Uh, plus, it's cold, so everybody's wanting to get in their sleeping bags and start the warming process. But uh, yeah, hopefully it's a easy night. Everybody stays warm, and uh, like I said, we got 12.1 miles tomorrow. Uh, should be similar terrain to what we hiked today, so that would be a good thing. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, 
probably going to close this one out and uh, hope you'll join me on the next one.